Welcome back. South Africa is still celebrating the gold, silver and bronze team South Africa and the Paralympic team brought back from London. The Minister of Sport and Recreation shared in the excitement by declaring that the Paralympic medalists should be awarded the same amounts as their co-athletes in Team South Africa. But on their return from London, Parliament opened its doors to the country's Olympic athletes. Members of Parliament were clearly delighted to have the Olympians in their midst as they rubbed shoulders with the likes of gold medal swimmers Chad Leclerc, Cameroon van der Berg and gold medal rower Sizwen Lovu and his teammates. MPs had a lot of praise for the sterling efforts of the athletes, but some expressed concern and questioned whether the six medals Team South Africa won at the 2012 Olympics were good value for money. Before we take this matter up with the chairperson of the Sports and Recreation uh, Portfolio Committee, Mr. Richard Mdagane, let's take a look at this inset. South Africa sent 133 athletes to the London 2012 Olympic Games. Their target, to return with 12 medals. The team got off to a dream start as swimmers Cameron van der Berg and Chad Leclerc raced to two gold medals and one silver. Medals would, however, prove a lot harder to come by once the pool events came to an end. But three additional medals did follow. Rowing delivered the third gold medal and the bronze, while Custa Semenya's second place in the women's 800 meters final provided the only medal on the track. It wasn't the 12 medals hoped for, but the final tally of six medals was still a vast improvement on the one medal Team SA had returned with from the 2008 Beijing Olympics. But is it a good return on investment? Six medals from 133 athletes equates to a success rate of around 4.5 percent and this doesn't fare well when compared to countries like China which sent 396 athletes to London and returned with 88 medals. That's a 22 percent success rate. The USA sent 539 athletes to the Games and won 104 medals, marking a 19 percent success rate. But while South Africa has justly celebrated its medal haul from the 2012 Olympic Games, some MPs aren't convinced that six medals are the best we could have hoped for. South Africa placed 23rd overall and finished top of the African continent's uh, medal table. Our benchmark, however, Speaker, with respect to our fellow African nations, should be way higher than this. As a nation of 50 million sports-centric people, we need to be regarded at the Olympics as a top 10 country. And in order to achieve this, various structural changes in our thinking and planning need to come into effect. Today we celebrate the achievement of six medals, albeit we did not reach our target of 12. The reality is that Team South Africa cannot expect to succeed at professional level if we are not going to invest at grassroots level. Failing to plan now will result in failing to meet the targets for 2016, which is something that we do not want to happen. The Minister of Sport and the Sporting Administrator should look after these athletes very well. We should spend much more money to prepare them for the next Olympic Games and to retain them for South Africa. We cannot afford, like in cricket for example, to lose our best players. That insert was produced by Lucanio Galata. We are now joined by the chairperson of the Sports and Recreation Portfolio Committee, Mr. Richard Mtagana, to talk to us about the success rate of our athletes in London. Good morning, sir, and welcome. Uh, good morning, Kokel, and the viewers at home. Mr. Mtagana, uh, Team South Africa went to London uh, in search of 12 medals, and uh, they returned with only six. Is that something that we should be satisfied with? Yes, we should be celebrating, really, because the Olympic Games uh, about participation, about friendship, about the resilience of a human mind. It is a purpose that why we should be celebrating uh, the medal that we have. Of course, we expected more, uh, but six is still very high, given the fact that we are just recently, anyway, accepted back to the nations. Uh, sporting community and fraternal uh, sporting bodies. But really, six medals out of 125 athletes is a success rate of less than 5%. Should we really be excited about that? We should be excited, Kokeli, uh, because we are building a team, we are building a new country, we are building a new nation, 
and then play uh, the, our players and also our athletes. I think they perform extremely well. And I think we should encourage them and prepare ourselves very well for the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. Yeah. And surely it's about participation, about friendship. It's not really about winning medal per se, but it's about participating. The fact that we have participated, the fact that we are number one in Africa, I think is the greatest achievement. Of course, we are young democrats. We must also appreciate that. But I think we are growing and we are going to do very well. We've got something here that says China, the leading uh, nation in Asia, has a 22% uh, success rate. And uh, the USA, uh, the leading nation in America, has a 19% success rate. Where did we, as the leading nation in Africa, go wrong? Well, I think we have to invest more in sport. And um, of course, there are challenges. There are a lot of competing interests in terms of resources that are available. And uh, but I think the professionalism of our sport throughout the country, development of sport, and then uh, mass participation in social sport, and also high performance sport, I think is very important for us to develop sport. And um, if we do that, I think 2016 and onwards we are going to perform extremely well because the spirit is there. I think everyone wants to perform at the highest level. But as a committee, we are very satisfied. And of course, we would encourage our team. I think they have raised the bar, and then they have set a very good example. And I think we are going to make it. The, 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 the Paralympic team brought back more medals uh, from London, even though less was spent uh, on their training. Uh, is that something uh, that needs to be addressed? Well, well we, sh we should first, we should thank them and then for the job well done. And then I think they performed extremely well. Uh, they demonstrated uh, first-class abilities, and this is what we should be encouraging on that. And uh, we should also encourage them anyway to do more when they prepare for Rio de Janeiro. I think they are capable of doing better than what they did. Uh, Parliament hosted uh, a special debate to welcome Team South Africa, uh, but is there anything that Parliament could do in assisting our athletes? Well, we, we, we will, we will really, because we are lawmakers and... Uh, with the oversight over the executive. Uh, because we are making laws, it's important for us to make laws that will assist us to develop sport in our country. I think we are mindful of the fact that, um, Tanda, uh, that the sport is becoming a big industry and also has a potential to employ a large number of people if we start really professionalizing our sport throughout the country. But we need leadership in sporting courts and sporting bodies. And uh, because even if you pump billions of land, but without leadership in this particular structure, without good governance in this particular structure, we won't achieve what you want to achieve. I think now, really, as a committee, we are busy discussing this matter and around governance general in all sporting courts. Because if we do that, and then we are going to develop our sport, because we enjoy sport and we love sport, all of us, therefore it's very important to do that. Yeah. The role of a portfolio committee, your committee, is to do oversight over uh, the department. Yes. Uh, but is there anything else that the, the, the committee could do in nurturing our athletes? Well, we can. These members of parliament, as lawmakers, they are also deployed in various constituencies. There will be no reason why members of parliament don't go and visit some of these, um, some of these facilities, meet with sporting bodies, and meet with leadership on sport and have discussion about um, the improvement and also development and promotion of our sport. And also encouraging real private sector to come in also to assist in Federal Netball South Africa and other structures and you know, the sporting codes that are very important. I think we need to work together in terms of uh, development of sport and promotion of sport. Then members of parliament should be playing a very important role in that. Finally. Of course we do have also our own uh, sport council in parliament. Finally and briefly, Chair, uh, do you believe in equal treatment for both the Olympic team and uh, the Paralympics? Well, there shouldn't be any argument or debate about this matter. There should be equal treatment of every South Africa. And then Para and the Olympians, all of them really, they have raised our flag. And when we are very happy as a committee, of course, we need, there's, a lot, there's room for improvement and also have to work very hard to encourage them to reach the higher level. Mr. Richard Mdagane is the chairperson of the Sports and Recreation Portfolio Committee. Thank you very much for coming. Thank through, you sir. very much. For coming. We need to go for a break, but we'll be back in a moment.